Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy VII. Today, well, we are gonna put on our fancy dress and wig. I think all we gotta do is come back in here. Yeah. Are you going to change? Yes, I'm ready. Now, because we got all of the best items, things should go as planned. And that plan is to make Cloud a pretty, pretty princess. Hmm, not bad. This must be a new, <laughs> this may be a new business for me. I mean, you wouldn't really have to change much, right? Just, buy, like, still sell women's clothing, just do a different audience? Yeah, you're right. Should we try it? I guess you can advertise it more. Thank you, uh, thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back. So the dress is on the house. Walk more nicely like this, Miss Cloud. What do you mean, nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Cloud. Oh, I want one. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How's this one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. Aerith is just like, nah, I want this one. I'm gonna go change. No peeking! I mean, Jesus Christ, how low do you think we are, Aerith? How much you want to bet? There's going to be an option there in the remake that doesn't actually let you peek, but you like get, lose points for it. So how do I look? Red? Also, how'd you do your hair that fast in there? Oh, you're no fun. All right. So now, dude looks like a lady. Now we got to go back up to Don Corneo's place. And, you know, a bunch of cutscenes will happen. Now, before we go, I... Should arrange this, you're right. Uh, fields, fine. We got one mithril amulet, we got metal knuckles. Okay, we got four grenades. Nah, that should be enough. Uh, bomb, not bombs, uh, potions, 110. Now, we haven't really bought any tents. We've just only found them. And we don't really need any right now, right? At least not yet. In the future we might, but not right now. Hi! Damn, your friend's hot too! Come in, come in! Two ladies coming through! I like to imagine that Cloud looks nothing like a woman here. Hey, ladies! I'll go get the Dawn now. Uh, I'll go, go let the Dawn know you're here. Wait here and don't wander around. Now's our chance. Let's go find Tifa. Sure. Goodbye. I, I can't use the stairs. So we can't go in there yet. Now, because of we because we got the best option, we might not be able to get all... Well, we will not be able to get all the treasures here. Uh, so we'll have to come back here a little bit later. Aw, oh, Cloud Shy. I like the way he holds his hands. Tifa? Nice to meet you. I'm Aerith. Cloud's told me a lot about you. And you are... Hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Oh, don't worry. We just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? Oh, no. Don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together. Nothing more. Ha, oh, poor Cloud. Having to stand here and listen to us both call him nothing. Right, Cloud? Cloud? Nah, I need, I need this. Thank you for the ether. And Earth just giggles. Because I guess this would be hilarious. <laughs> Question marks? Nice jump. Cloud! Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Never mind, what happened to you after you f the fall? Are you hurt? I mean, kind of doesn't look like he's hurt, right? S slow down, let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm all right. Aerith helped me out. Oh, Aerith did. Tifa, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... Ahem. I'll just go plug my ears. Good job, Aerith. I'm sure that's gonna be effective. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks, what happened? When we get back from the Sector 5 reactor, we saw a weird man. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when Don's name popped up. 
Right, Don Corneo. Did Bear told me to leave the lech alone. But something's been bothering me. Let's see, so you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo was looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then, well... Anyways, I have to get, be the girl for tonight. Sorry, but I overheard. I wasn't actually trying to not hear you at all, in fact. My hands are squares, so they don't fit over my ears. If you know the three girls, then there's no problem, right? I guess so, but... We have two right here, right? No, Aerith, I can't involve you. Oh, so it's alright for Tifa to be in danger? No, I don't want Tifa in... And actually, yeah, Tifa's like a trained combatant. Aerith's a flower girl. <laughs> is that all... is it all right? I grew up in the slums, I'm used to danger. That doesn't really equate to, like, battle experience. I mean, you are pretty strong in magic, don't get me wrong, but still. Do you trust me? Yeah, thanks, Miss Aris. Aerith? Not Aris. Call me Aerith. Hey! It's time, ladies, the dawn is waiting. Told you not to wander around, I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is... Me, right? You're right, you didn't need... To ask. Let's go. <laughs> you know, you don't look too bad if you don't look closely. I wonder what Barrett would say if he could see you. They're gonna get suspicious we don't already. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Alright, I think Tifa is now officially in our party. We don't need to do this right now, but may as well set her up a little bit. We have no accessories. Uh, do we want... Hmm. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's put the cover... Uh, material on her, because she still needs to work on her limit break. Well, her level 1 limit break. Aerith can do most of the killing to gain her second level one. Hello. Oh, wait, we gotta go over here. All right, ladies. Line up in front of the dawn. Hmm. Good, splendid. Now, let's see, which girl should I choose? Mm -hmm. Oh, this one? Oh, this one? <laughs> Just gotta get a closer look. My her mustache is better than mine. Ooh, I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... <laughs> this healthy looking girl! Wait, wait a second. I mean, uh, please wait a moment. Oh, oh I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! <laughs> you can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we go, my pretty? I like his mohawk. Now, I, I heard a rumor that uh, Mark Hamill's gonna be voicing him in the remake. That should be interesting. Mark Hamill's really good with the voices. <laughs> the consummate cross-dresser. <laughs> Alright, I didn't know that was an achievement. Uh, oh, we're finally alone. Alright, pussycat. Come to daddy. No, I'm gonna come over here. Thank you for the hyper. Alright, hi. You're so cute, I never get tired of looking at you. Uh, do you like me? Oh, of course, Don. Oh, you sure do know how to make a guy feel good. Then, what do you want to do? Whatever you want, Daddy. Oh, man, I can't stand it. All right, then. Nice frog up. Give me a kiss. A kiss. I can't do it. What? Why? Why? Because... Because I'm gonna need that mouth of yours to give me some information. Oh, you know what? If you chose the other one, you uh, you can tell him that you already have a man, and his name is Barrett. They get points from Barrett. I'm a man. You tricked me. 
someone get in here now? Unfortunately, no one will be coming to help. You're the one. We're, you're the ones. Oh wait, you're the ones from before. What the hell's going on? Shut up. We're t asking the questions now. What did your assistants find out? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll chop it off. No, 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 not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. I made him find out where that man with the gun arm was, but that's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No, if I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk if you don't tell us. I'll rip it off. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, it was Heidegger from uh, Shinra. Heidegger, the head of the peace prevention. The head of the peace provision? Did you say Shinra? What are they up to? Talk! If you don't tell us... I'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Alliance. Uh, Avalanche, not Alliance. And want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really going to crush them. Like, literally. By breaking the support, holding the plate up above them. Break the support? You know what's going to happen? The, the plate will go ping, and everything going to go bam, and I heard the hideout in Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. They're going to wipe out all the, the Sector 7 slums? Cloud, will you come with me to Sector 7? Of course, Tifa. Hi. You don't want to talk? Alright, goodbye. Uh, just a second. Shut up. No, wait, it'll only take a second. Why do you think a scum like me babbled on about the truth? Uh, is it A, because I've given up on life, B, because I'm sure I'll win, or three, because I'm clueless? It's clearly because I'm sure I'll win. Oh, right! Happy dance! Oh, alright, we have this little scene. But yeah, Sector 7 is in danger, so we need to get back there ASAP. There's some chance here to get points with Barrett, but we're not going for that route, so... You know, we didn't really need to do that. I probably should've. But, to be honest, I actually kind of forget the prompts you needed for that. How are the preparations? <laughs> smoothly, very smoothly. I signed the Turks to it. President, are you really going to do this? Simply destroy, simply destroy a group of, uh, simply destroy a group with only a few members? Wait, what? Are you really going to do this? Simply destroy a group of... I think we're missing a few words there. I think he's supposed to say, like, to, uh, simply to... I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what you're trying to say. Simply destroy a group with only a few members. I mean, I know what he's implying, right? He's gonna... You're like, are you really gonna collapse a plate to just kill all these people simply to kill... Uh, destroy a group with only a few members, but it doesn't really come across in that sentence with just that. To me, anyways. What's the problem, Reeves? You want out? No. But as head of the Urban Development Department, I have been involved in the building and running of Midgar, that's why. Reeves, flush your personal problems with the rest of your crap. The mayor's against this is anyway. <laughs> mayor? He just sits in this building all day feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple days off and go somewhere? President Shinra, looking out for his employees' mental health. We'll destroy Sector 7 and report that Avalanche did it. And then we'll send in the rescue operation care of Shinra Inc. <laughs> this is perfect. I like how well they did the eyes. You can see the age lines there. Now, before you talk to anyone, one, we're gonna go get this item over here. There's random encounters here, so you might get into a battle. But whoever you talk to first gets some points for affection. So talk to Tifa if you're going that route. You alright? Man, this is terrible. I landed butt first in the sewer. 
And then Aerith, you alright? Yeah, landed face first in the sewer though. Well, the worst is over. Jinx! Maybe not. Alright, boss time against apes. Apps? It's APS. Close enough, right? Alright, so this dude has 1800 HP. He has a move called Sewer Tsunami, which damages him more than us. So, there's that. Uh, he's weak to fire. We don't have fire. So, let's go ahead and attack. I probably should have moved Lightning on to Tifa. But, for now, we can have that. Now, with Sewer Tsunami, he is gonna get us up to our limit breaks, so we shouldn't have too much problem here. At least for Cloud and Aerith, there are ways to actually uh, freeze him in place. With Aerith's Sail Evil, you can paralyze him. With Chronos, with Cloud's Cross Slash, you can also paralyze him. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just keep with attacking and magic casting with Aerith. Though, actually I should try Lightning, right? That might be a little bit better. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. He's not strong against anything. Yeah, he's only resisting the gravity, which we don't have access to. Hopefully he's not dead just yet. Alright, Tifa. There you go. Not dead yet. Oh, and he's freeze, uh, froze, too. Uh, we'll heal after the battle. One left. Go for it. How much did that lightning do? Oh, he's unfrozen. Actually, you know what? We'll uh, just use... Aerith is healing wind. Never mind. We'll do that next battle. And everyone gains a level, good. Yeah, I should probably put a magic one on um, Cloud. It's too late, Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Actually. Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Do we, though? Let's go ahead and heal. Thankfully, this is not a timed event. If you want to stay around and, like, level up or something, do something around here, you can. Like, you can stay here for hours and nothing will happen. Which is kind of good, right? Because the next area is not bad, but it's not exactly a walk in the park either if you're going to be trying to steal some maybe good stuff. Jump down. Speaking of steel, we just got the steel material, which allows us to steal. Go figure. And we're going to be putting it to use relatively quickly too. Not just yet, though you can steal from these guys as well. Uh, go ahead with the bolt. We'll save that limit break for now. This probably won't kill them? No. I think these guys have like 80 or something like that HP. Probably should have weakened. No, they have over 100, huh? Hmm. Well, the more you know. Actually, I don't know how much they have. I don't have a list down here. Oh, well. Not dead. So, yeah, over. Probably like 200 then. Probably, I definitely should weaken them in the future to let Aerith get the kill on them. Or we can get Cloud to kill this one. Yeah, multi-targeting attacks are very few and far between early in the game. As in, there aren't any, except for when you have one use of all materia. Uh, it doesn't really... doesn't really fix itself for a little bit of time, so... Now, th we'll get there eventually, but just not right now. What level are you, Tifa? Nine and eight. That seems low. Though, to be honest, I generally do not pay attention to my levels too much in this game. Which, you know, probably not the best... <laughs> probably not the best... Uh, way to play the game, but still. Aerith, I get you mixed up in this. Don't tell me to go home. I mean, probably work out better if you did. If we can just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get there. 
Yeah, but like first let's come over here and go through this barrel of Toxic Waste. Thank you for the high potion. Don't really need it right now. Potions are still pretty good. Now back in the original PS1 version of this game, traversing this area was actually kind of hard. Uh, the TVs did not do this area justice, from what I can remember anyways. What new enemies do we have here? We have these guys. What the hell are they called? Uh, Dean Glow. That's a preemptive attack. They have 120 HP, and actually, they're strong against lightning, but we should only need to do like 20 points of damage to them. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> well, no, he didn't even get the yeah. That was actually fantastic. <laughs> but we did 100 points of damage to him, now we only need to do like 18 or 20. Didn't do it. Ah, hey, hey, gravity ball. That's uh, our first gravity use uh, spell item. Use that, cast gravity on the enemy. Unfortunately, a lot of the enemies that would be useful against are kind of immune to it, so... Yeah, there's nothing down here. I always gotta check, though, for some reason. Yeah, this one in particular, this area right here, screwed me up the first time I came through this area. But yeah, the, the backgrounds just kind of blend in with, uh, back in the old day with the old TVs. The resolution aspect ratio. Oh, we got more new enemies. You guys are, uh, Crips, yeah, Crips Hay? Sure. They don't have that much HP, they got 100. So let's go ahead and at least kill those two, maybe? Maybe, Aerith? Come on, Aerith. I know you can do it. Yeah, good job, Aerith. Actually, is this dude weak to ice? Or not weak, but... He, no, he absorbs ice. Never mind. You know what? Just heal the party, Aerith. Is he weak to ice? He uses ice. I'm gonna attack with Tifa 2, just in case. Okay, never mind. Good crit there. I feel like we need to get some levels, but we should be fine. Get in there. There we go. One more item. Go. Potion. I mean, they're not great, but it's better than nothing, and it does its job right now. Down here we get another potion. Speak of the devil. Better than one gill, right? That was Final Fantasy 2 that did that a lot, right? You like go out of your way to get an uh, an item, and then it would just be like one gill. Now that should be it for uh, treasures on the ground. Oh, we get some ghosts with the most here. Now these guys are weak to fire and restorative magic. Not lightning though. Um, they have 130 HP. So if you really wanted to, you could use a Phoenix Down or a High Potion on them. Or you could use Cloud's Heal. Or Tifa's Limit Break. Wait a minute, did he, did he not die? Wait a minute. No, you're undead, dog. Why didn't you die? Oh, because I haven't used it yet. Oh, okay, because he used his Absorb spell. I got really confused there for a second. I was like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> like, the dude was supposed to die. Uh, we'll save the Limit Break for later. That's going to come be hard to do, actually. Uh, Invisible works the same way as Final Fantasy VI, and Magic should hit it fine. Let's see, let's test that. No, okay. Yeah, the invisible status is not exactly, uh... Common. Did I say Final Fantasy V? I meant VI. But yeah, you don't, you don't see it that often in this game, in fact. I think this is the only place you see the invisible status. No, I guess it's more it's just vanish instead of invisible, right? I believe you can get an item called, um... Actually, I don't know what it's called. It's, it causes the drain effect on your enemies, though. It's a battle item. 
I should probably heal up too. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, we'll use that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save Cloud's limit break for the upcoming area. Look at how blurry that goddamn ladder is next to this train. That's kind of insane. All right, so remember how I mentioned the uh, the steel materia and how we we're gonna be putting it to use? Well, there's an enemy around here that has a pretty good item on it that, yeah, you know what, just use Braver, um, that Aerith can use. And it's actually gonna be her best one for a long, long time. So I'm gonna try to get it. It's like double the power of like Cloud Sword, so almost double. So let's hopefully run into that guy real soon. Its name's Iliagor. Eligor? It's probably Iliagor, but um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll let you know when I run into it because it's it's probably gonna take a while. He's not exactly common, though he's not rare. He's uncommon. I usually stay on this train searching for him. Oh, I think this is it. It is! All right, let's go ahead and steal. Now, this dude has 300 HP. He hits kind of hard. Uh, so try to not, you know, do not sleep, Cloud. Thank you. He does counter with sleep. Well, not counter, but he can use sleep. Uh, I was really hoping for, like, a two-turn, uh... Frickin... <laughs> steal there. All right, this is probably the last time I'm allowing Tifa to, to attack. Next up, we're pretty much just gonna do healing duty, even though, uh, oh, never mind. We're gonna kill his ass. Three attempts, that's all it took. That's actually fantastic. That could take a long goddamn time to, to do, so we got lucky there, and he's dead. Yeah, that, uh, that worked out really well. We gained a few levels. I don't think Tifa learned her limit break yet. She's close though, yeah. She's used it a couple, four or five times at this point. So a few more, probably even next time even, because I think we use it once or twice during the, uh, the, the Mako Reactor mission we went on with her. So let's go ahead and kill these guys up and I guess call it a day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you hit my video section, check out some of the content. See if it's to your liking. If you're into watching the live stream at twitch.tv slash give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.